All right, guys, it's Shalon, and today I'm going to do a quick Fractured update. Fractured had an alpha weekend with the primary purpose being pushing their backend engine, Spatial OS. Spatial OS got a new update and Dynamite Studios wanted to take that out for a little test drive. One thing I appreciate about the testing was Dynamite put out a blog telling people what they wanted testing. They wanted people to group and play together in close spaces and report any outstanding performance issues. This is something a lot of game studios should take note of. When you open up testing, make sure the players know what it is you want tested. I can tell you that at one point on Friday, the server was being hit with 150,000 commands per second and the game remained playable. So that is a good thing. The testing is pretty well received. Given that it was only a weekend test, I was happy to see that by Sunday morning, over 3,600 characters had been made for the testing session. Now, there are some things I want to point out about the design, but Fractured is still very much in development. So some stuff I'll be pointing out will be referenced in design blogs. I'll put links to any blog I show on the screen in the description below. One of the biggest key highlights I want to point out, though, is the character creator. They have put back the four starting backgrounds. Now, these are not classes. Fractured isn't a class-based game. It's an ability-based game, and these backgrounds simply seed your starting abilities, which, honestly, this really helps because in the previous testing, if you wanted to be a bowman, then in order to start, you had to start with a different seed of starting abilities, and then you needed to go and get all of the archery-based ones. Now, I also want to remind people, and you'll see in just a moment, any ability can be earned in game. This is simply the abilities that are seeded for you to start with. If you need a deeper dive into what a classless based game is up there in the upper right hand corner, there's a video that talks about Fractured, its abilities and talents and how it is a classless based game. Now, the next thing in the character creator is the attributes. And I want people to know that, again, your starting background will seed your attributes, but your starting attributes are 100% absolutely customizable. I also want people to know that you cannot really min-max in Fractured. Every ability is important to every character. These points are also not linear. Your 18th point in a trait will take four attribute points, but your 15th point only takes two. This means you can go really deep into one attribute or you can be good in a bunch. Also realize that races will have different caps and they will have different points per attribute. I don't wanna to dive too much into that in this video, but in the description below, I'm gonna link this article, which is gonna detail out both how every stat is available for every character, why every stat is important for every character, and then how the different races are going to be able to buy their preferred stat cheaper, and then they're going to have penalties to certain stats. Now, although this wasn't the point of the test this weekend, I did want to point out two major quality of life features that Dynamite has included. The first being auto run. One big problem people have with isometric downward looking games is constantly having to hold the mouse button. Well, now if you press the left control button, then your character will start to auto run. And now instead of having to grip the left mouse button, your character will simply run in the direction of the pointer. The other quality of life adjustment was the combat mode toggle. And what I mean by that is if you are chasing a mob and you inadvertently hover over or land your mouse on a gatherable instead of continuing to chase a, a mob or in, another player you will enter into that combat state this becomes problematic because in fractured the entire world is a gatherable environment one thing they added is if you go ahead and press space if I go to cursor over, I can no longer do any gathering. So if I'm chasing a mob over a gatherable or I'm fighting a mob near a gatherable, I cannot engage with this gatherable anymore. If I press the space bar again, I enter normal mode. So if I were to be halfway over here, 
click on that uh, wild rye. When I run to it, I will gather it. Now, when it comes to these two quality of life adjustments, the important part here is that Dynamite Studios is delivering updates based on community feedback. It does no good to give builds for the players to test if you don't listen to the feedback and then try to make the game as accommodating as you can. So it was great to see these two highly requested features in the latest alpha build. Another small change I saw was in the bestiary and the skills menu. So if you remember Fractured in the way things work and the way the game is developed, you'll know that you have to go and you have to find every ability that you want. Well, the problem with that is in the past, we would have a list of abilities and we would have no idea where to go and find them. What Dynamite has done is shown us all of the available abilities and if you'll notice that in the majority of cases it'll say discovered from now there are a few that it looks like they don't have the discovered from populated this could be because the ability is not in game yet or they just haven't populated the discovered from when you go back into the uh, bestiary you remember if you want to learn an ability from say a wolf you have to get a certain amount of knowledge progress and then it would have some skills and abilities down here you will see i have learned bleeding strike from wolves but i have not yet learned vicious attacks this is a much better way for uh, dynamite studios to present this information because now you can go in you can try to figure out which tree of abilities you're looking for which one's going to best complement your classless character and so now you know exactly where you can go so for example on this character i am a archer so i'm going to be looking for things like burning arrow things like acid arrow and i'm going to be able to more easily map out my my play style my play direction the other one that they've been working on is the talents wheel. You saw in that video that I posted, the not all the talents were flushed out. It was nice to come in this weekend and see uh, more of the talents spelled out. Some of the talents changed. Uh, some of the uh, different uh, things that we've done in testing previously uh, that they've updated or they've changed or they've, they've more flushed out. Now again, uh, Fractured is very much a game in development, so you will see some of the abilities like Bard's um, weapon style is still under implementation. That means that it is still very much in active development and they will populate that as more passes go through. So for a short three day alpha test around backend testing, they also managed to squeeze in an awful lot of content changes into this patch. I am looking forward to the next major content test for Fractured. You guys remember last time we built out here on the coast, we had Sprockerton and Sprockerdo. As it was only a three day weekend, Paradox elected to not dive in in mass, and we didn't want to suffer from any alpha burnout. For everyone interested in Fractured, I am starting to do more content on the game. So if you have any questions, leave those questions in the comments below, and then I will do my best to get those answers for you. Until next time, you guys stay safe. And remember, I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays on Twitch. If you have a question about Fractured, you can stop in then. I say, Sprocket, we've reached the end of another video. Time to thank the sponsors. Yes, that will do, that will do. Shall we pop off for a sport of tea?